Yo, what is up guys? The Fish Guy here. This is the year 2020. Hope you had a great year this time. So in this video, I'm going to show you what updates I've done for the fish pond. So year 2020 is going to have a lot more videos than the year 2019. I promise you that. This year, I'm probably concentrating on more of travel vlog and fish videos. I've been making more on information about different kind of fish. So the one thing that I'm bringing back to the year 2020 from 2018 is that I'm bringing back the rich content or the information or the facts that we had in the year 2018. A lot of videos got a very good hit in the year 2018. 2019 we flopped. That's because I met with an accident. A lot of people who have followed me on other social media platforms would have known that. So this year in the month February or March maybe I would have another surgery to remove my uh, rod that is in my anklet. So after that, yes. We're gonna have a great year. My channel's gonna boost up. We're gonna make a lot of video content and we're bringing it up. So, here's the new filter for the fish pond. My old filter just broke. That's because of heat or over rotation. It's been a long time since I used that. This pump is not like the old one, it's quite solid. I can just drop it at the bottom of the tank and it can start filtering. Now, I'm super excited to check the functioning in the fish pond, so let's check it out. I'm really sorry guys, I couldn't capture the video while installing the filter for the fish pond. There was literally no one to capture the video, I was all alone. It was also dark because it was evening by then. So let me check a video in the next day. This is how much of dirt the filter has collected. There's almost so much dirt collected overnight. My older filter took almost 3 days to collect so much dirt. Uh, this is actually the suction nozzle. Dirt collected is found inside here. Now here comes the washing part. We're done cleaning. This filter has a stopper for secondary pipe. I would actually suggest you to run without the stopper. Here are the reasons. More turbulence in water gives a natural look. It's good for fish, it keeps them active. Increase in oxygen storage in pond. Does not enrich mosquitoes. Removes odor. Stops growth of algae. So if you're really planning to get one of these filters, I'll drop them in the description below. You can buy one. Now you can see ripples out there. The pond already looks live. Also the jar of dirt is filling up. Water looks sweet and drinkable. It is completely clean because I can see the actual colors of my fish. They are vivid rich in color. So far, that's the update for my pond. Making a few more changes for the pond. I will post them later. Till then, thanks for watching. More updates coming. Fish.